So after making videos about my smart home, I've gotten a lot of questions from family and friends on how to actually start your smart home. So here's HomeKit 101, where I'm gonna show you from the very first step, how to add your smart hub, add, add accessories, add um, animations, and so on. This is gonna be multiple videos in a playlist where you can easily follow step by step. Well, let's start. Here we have the HomePod Mini, a great little speaker made by Apple that can be used as a hub as well. This speaker has a bigger brother, so if you prefer a bigger speaker as a hub, you could do that as well. I'm gonna have a picture up here where I'm gonna show you all the Apple hubs that you can have, like the Apple TV or the HomePod Mini or the bigger HomePod. If I were to recommend a better hub, it would be the Apple TV 4K third generation 128 gigabyte of storage because it comes with Thread. If you're curious to know what Thread is, I actually made a video a while back. I'm gonna link it up here or up here where you can follow along. So now we're gonna plug in the hub that you have right now. It could be an Apple TV or the HomePod and we're gonna connect it to your smart home for the first time. Let's do this. Here's the speaker. It's very nice and very compact and it has a really nice sound. So if you choose to get this one, it actually is uh, it's a pretty great speaker. So let's plug it in so we can pair this. You plug it into the power and you wait for the animation of the HomePod where it's gonna start getting ready to be in pairing mode. You give it some time. At this point, we're going to go into the Home app. If you don't know where it is, you can search for it. It's gonna give you a new HomePod mini. Um, for this case, I'm not gonna do it this way. I actually want to go into the Home application and I created one that is called Edgar's Home Tech. I'm going to press OK. And at this point, when you do that, I can do more options and I see a HomePod there. You could do it the other way when it gives you the notification, but just by pressing that, it gives me the notification. I just wanna make sure that I'm adding it to the right home. In your case, you wouldn't have to worry about that since you don't have any uh, smart home set up just yet. So I just do setup, continue. And at this point, it's gonna ask me to center the HomePod in the frame. So get around in the camera, make sure that I, so you just make sure you align the circle with the one from the HomePod. Give it some time, it's gonna start setting up certain things. It's gonna ask me uh, which, um, Smart home, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use Edgar Home Tech. And I'm just gonna put guest room. Here you can ask it to recognize your voice. So that way when you ask for your commands, you can, it would recognize that it's you or your spouse or your, whoever it is. Um, so you could do some testing by doing the recognize. I'm not gonna do that right now. And um, here are the personal requests. It's just kind of explaining you, you know, how to use Siri and all those things. And we just continue setting up the HomePod Mini. It looks like it's already completed because I can see the HomePod in my smart home. And it just says HomePod update in progress. It obviously has to update if it has, you know, it's been a while. So um, there's always a new update that has come out, so you just do okay. At this point, give your HomePod time to download any of the new updates. Mine is actually downloading the latest update for the HomePod. So let's give it, a, let's give it some time and see what happens. One of the great things about the HomePod is the fact that it has intercom. You could actually intercom to a different HomePod if you have multiple, but you could also 
from the application of your phone, you can intercom into the HomePod in your house. By pressing this little icon right here, I can say something that it would eventually come out from the HomePod within a few seconds. So if I press done, you give us some time and you're gonna see that the HomePod is going to say something. So that is one of the features from the HomePod. Another feature for the HomePod is that it comes with a humidity and a uh, temperature sensor. If you go in the room, you can see right now that the HomePod says that my room is a 74 degree temperature and then the humidity is a 63%. One of, also, one of the cool features for the HomePod is the fact that if I'm playing music from my phone, let's say I'm playing this song right here from Drake, and you can go into your AirPlay and you can find the HomePod right there. It's the guest room. If I press there, it could automatically transfer the music to the HomePod. And also, if you wanna transfer the music by just getting near the HomePod, it would transfer the song and it will start playing there instead of your phone. That is also one of the cool things about it. If you follow all the steps in this video, you officially have your first Apple Hub. That means you're ready to install your first device, like a smart plug or light bulb, whichever it is you want. Um, but for that, you're gonna have to watch the next episode where I'm gonna show you how to pair a smart plug. If you wanna watch that video, please click up here once it's ready and let's keep building your smart home. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.